Hey guys, today we now study about multi-core processor. <coughs> Before studying that, I would like to focus you on some small topics. Like what do you mean by core? Core means a basic simple computation unit of CPU. For example, it means something our brain does. It processes one program instruction at a time. Now guys, we focus on what do you mean by process. A processor works like which gives the input and provides the appropriate output like what our nerve cells does. So now, we could easily understand what do you mean by multi-core processor. A multi-core processor is comprises of more than two core which reads and executes the instruction. Now, we show you how a picture of how a multi-core processor looks. So now guys we will understand what multi-core processor do. For example if you want to listen to music, work on excel sheet, browse on internet. So you can understand it can handle multiple programs at, a, at, a, at once. And secondly for example you open a google page. And each time a different process has been done a new tab so it can use multi core multi core processors at a single period of point of time before we learn about working of multi core processors let's learn a few basics a thread is the smallest sequence of code that can be executed by an operating system Multi-threading is the ability for an operating system to take advantage of multiple cores by splitting up the code into threads and feeding it to different cores simultaneously. Hyperthreading is a technology used by Intel processors in which the OS treats a single core like two virtual cores. This speeds up the process uh, as the processor is never free. In a multi-core processor, the operating system can tell the processor to do multiple things at the same time using separate cores. Essentially, through the direction of the operating system, data is moved from the hard drive via the motherboard to the processor. Multiprocessing is implemented through data sharing. With multi-core processors, there are multiple levels of cache called L1 and L2 cache. Some processors have ca cache up to L4. These levels of cache memory ensure that the processor don't have to look very far to find their next process, saving a lot of time. L2 cache is larger in memory but slower than L1 cache. Usually in a multi-core processor, L1 cache is unique to each processor and L2 is shared. One of the main advantages to having a shared cache is the ability to use a cache to its fullest because of the fact that if one core isn't using it, the other can. In a multi-core processor, when searching for data, a core can look through its own unique L1 cache and then branch out to shared L2 cache, then RAM and eventually the hard drive. Parallel processing in computers, parallel processing is a processing of program instructions by dividing them among multiple processors with the objective of running a program in less time. The next step in parallel processing was the introduction of multiprocessing. In these systems, two or more processors shared the work to be done. The earliest versions had a master sleeve configuration. One processor, the master, was programmed to be responsible for all of the work in the system the other, the slave, performed only those tasks it was assigned by the master. Traditionally, computer software has been written for serial com computation. To solve a problem, an algorithm is constructed and implemented as a serial stream of instructions. These instructions are executed on a central processing unit on one computer. Only one instruction may execute at a time. After that instruction is finished, the next one is executed. Parallel computing, on the other hand, uses multiple processing elements simultaneously to solve a problem. 
This is accomplished by breaking the problem into independent parts so that each processing element can execute its part of the algorithm simultaneously with the others. The processing elements can be diverse and include resources such as a single computer with multiple processors, several networked computers, specialized hardware, or any combination of the above. Now I talk something about Intel processors. Intel Core is a line of mid to high end customer workstation and enthusiastic central processing unit marketed by Intel Corporation. Now, some of the Intel Core processors are first coming to i3. The first core i3 processor was launched on January 7, 2010 with two core processing units and hyperthreading. Some of the four common features are low power consumption, small catch. Now, coming to Wi-Fi. The first core i5 was introduced on September 8, 2009. A mobile i5 processor has two cores and hyperthreading. The desktop ones have four cores with no hyperthreading, but they all have in common is improved onboard graphics and turbo boost. Now, coming on to i7. Intel Core i7 has an Intel brand name applies to several families of desktop and laptop 64 bit versions. The Core i7 brand targets the business and high end customer markets for both desktop and laptop computers. All Core i7 has hyperthreading for heavy workloads. A Core i7 can have anywhere from 2 processing cores in an Ultrabook to 8 processing cores in a workstation. It can have 2 to 8 memory sticks. Core i7 have a lot of varieties, but there are few common features like more cache and better onboard graphics and fast turbo boost that are low tight processes. Thank you. Now let me note down some problems with single core processors. Most of the programs which are made today need dual core processors to run. To execute the work faster, you need to increase the clock time. Increasing the clock time drastically increases pow uses power consumption and heat dissipation to extremely high levels, making the processor inefficient. Now here are some advantages of multi-core processor. Energy efficiency. By using multi-core processors, architects can decrease the number of embedded computers. They overcome increased heat generation due to Moore's law, that is smaller circuits increase electrical resistance which creates more heat. Wind, which in turn decreases the need for cooling. The use of multi-core processing reduces power consumption, which increases battery life. Now, performance. Multi-core processors can increase performance by running multiple applications concurrently. The decreased distance between cores on an integrated chip enables shorter resource access latency and higher cache speeds when compared to using separate processors or computers. However, the size of the performance increase depends on the number of cores, the level of real concurrency in the actual software, and the use of shared resources. Now, let me note down some disadvantages of a multi-core processor. First and the biggest disadvantage of a multi-core processor is the cost. Cost of a multi-core processor is uh, very high as compared to a single or a lesser core processor. For example, the cost of an Intel i3 processor is around 9000 rupees which is a dual core processor whereas the cost of an i7 processor is around 35000 rupees which is an octa core processor now it is a common myth that multi core processors have twice the efficiency than that of a single core processor but it is not true in practical another disadvantage is it is a multi core processor is very hard to manage thermally uh, when compared to lower density single core processors. Based on the current models, the future of multi core processors may include increasing the number of transistors per square millimeter inch of silicon, efficiently increasing the number of cores, increase the cache in the processor, better materials for transistors, more environment friendly processors, improved battery life, better software with improved threads.